All right, let's check it out. Hmm. I don't even know what the hell that is. Well, I'll put it next to the uh, the radio here that Tomna cannot sell in his shop. Liar. Lying raccoon. Just by going through my garbage at night. What a piece of shit. <laughs> yeah, here we go. What's next, Nookie Nook? Worker B. God damn. Oh, 2.30. How do, you, how do you figure these things? You just pulling this out of your stupid raccoon ass? Yeah, oh, thanks. Oh, now you realize I don't have a map. Yes, 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 I will. Ooh. Pierce. Okay. So you're gonna give me stationary, and I can write whatever I want to this character. Ha ha ha. Giving me free reign here. Okay, I know where it is. All right, good. Simple paper. I'm just a simple paper. I was born up in a simple society of other simple papers. Okay, let's go, Pierce. And I'm gonna say, oh yeah, I'm gonna say, I'd. I'm gonna use proper grammar. I'd like to. Peer ah, I'm putting this in all caps. I'd like to pierce you with my dingus. That's right, everybody. I would like to pierce pierce with my dingus. That's fantastic. Let's go. <clears throat> you know, I've written some letters before. I think this one might take the cake for right now. I wonder if anybody else out there feels the same way. If they want to pierce pierce with their dingus. I'll never know. I'll just leave me a comment, that is. If you'd like to pierce pierce with your dingus. And if you don't have a dingus, create a dingus. And pierce pierce with it. I'd like to mail this letter. <laughs> Little does he know. And it goes, haha, <laughs> Phyllis, what a piece. I will not be quick about it. I don't want to be quick about it. Although I will say, the post office is one of my favorite places in the game. It's pretty cool how you can just, you see the mail. You know, let me, let me go back in there and show you that. You see the mail right here when you talk to her. There's the mail on the left. And I think you can send up to five messages a day. And then once you fill it up, you leave, and you'll actually see a a uh, pelican, I guess, fly up. But his name is Pete. He's the male guy, so I thought that was pretty cool. It's got the same name as me. I guess if uh, all I'm destined to be in life is a pelican male guy, and that's that's good with me, to be honest. All right, back to Nook. What's he got next for me? Yes, I sent the letter. You gonna dock me? What? You gonna bring me up to a dock? No, no. Mm, as well, I have to prepare the next package later behind. So, yes, it would be a waste. It's a waste for me doing anything for you in the first place. Okay. All right. So it wants me to help a villager in town. Any one of my choosing. Hopefully, I get something good in return too. Um. See, I already interacted with anchovy, and I sent a letter to Pierce. So. I'll go with Daisy on this one. Now I have a map, I can check it out. Daisy's down here. Alright. I want a job, Daisy. Really? You can't think of anything? I'm not I'm not helping Twiggy. She is a piece of shit. Honestly. I don't think anybody can ever like Twiggy in this game. One of those characters they just you're just born to hate. Uh, no, I'm fine or not? Yes, give me a job. N nothing? Really? Uh, is there like specific people that need? Oh, Rolf, maybe. Maybe Rolf. Rolf just makes me think of uh, Ed, Ed, and Eddie, and 
Double the Ed Boy and all that shit. <laughs> yeah, he's my favorite. That was a good show, too. Uh, not in the right spot. Now, if Rolf doesn't need help, then I don't know what's going on anymore. There he is. Nice. Yeah, I'm sure you're busy raping people and whatnot. Pal Daisy. All right. That sounds very easy to me. I wonder why he has Daisy's clothes. Hmm. Kind of makes you wonder. Ralph might be a big player. I wonder if Daisy's gonna get embarrassed when I bring her back her fucking top. <laughs> the things that it, the creators of this game could not think about. I'm bringing them to light. Guess that's my job. There you go. You said that last time, Daisy. I don't think you actually are heading home. That's not a good look for you, Daisy. Oof, you look awful. I mean, I can't tell you look awful because I gotta be nice and you're giving me stuff, but you look awful. Doesn't bring out your hips there. All right. Um, yeah, I'm talking to a dog in a fucking fake game. What do you want from me? A uh, Mugo Bonsai? What the hell is a Mugo Bonsai? What the hell? A Biwa loot and then a Mugo? What is this game doing to me right now? My house is being furnished with garbage. I still don't have a bed to sleep on. All right, let me see what this, I think it's a bonsai tree or something. Let me see what it looks like. I'll humor the game. Mugo bonsai. It's a bonsai tree, fantastic. I'll put it in, Why? how's there light coming in my window? It's dark out. What's going on? Huh, maybe the moon's shining. I'll show you a moon shining. Okay. Next up on the list of Nook things to do. Yes, I was able to help everybody out. Hey, hey, hey. Yeah, they give you Mugo bonsais, though. Carpet. Dilly dally. I will dilly dally. Oh, do I really have to bring this to Twiggy? I don't like Twiggy. I don't want to give this to her. I want to steal it. I want to steal it and run away with it. Ah, damn it. There's no way around it. You know, one of the things the creators of this game did was each character, they probably created like mm, maybe four or five unique personalities that they would give to certain sets of characters. I think they were like the aloof characters, the the Peggy ones that are the mean characters, the the snooty ones, they were happy ones, they were kind of gruff ones. I thought that was kind of cool how they gave, you know, a unique personality to them. It was, it was something that I thought was really awesome in the game. All right. Oh my gosh, it's finally here. Uh, yeah, yeah, I die for a rug too. What are you talking about? Yes, I will take your old rug and I will furnish my Mugo Bonsai and my Biwa loot with a new rug. How about that, Twiggy? Will I help you sleep at night knowing you're a snooty bitch? Ah, oh, Jesus. Alright, so I gotta check out this carpet now. I never know where I'm going in this damn town. This is like real life. I always get lost when I'm driving. I have no sense of direction. Maybe so they always have my head up my ass! I don't know. No, nope, that's not the button. Alright. Let's get rid of this ugly ass floor and put on an 8 mat tatami. What the f- What am I getting? I have an 8 mat tatami floor with a Mugo Bonsai and a Biwaku. Just adding to the list of weird things in my house. 
without a bed still. Oh boy. Tom Nook, what do you got for me? Dear employee. And now I'm a dear employee? What was I before? Worker B. Ooh, 580. Ooh, stepping up in the world. Oh, give an axe to Pier Pierce. I'm giving an axe to Pierce. Now, if I if I recall, <laughs> I sent a certain note to Pierce. I wonder if he got it. I wonder if he got it. Where is he again? He's all the way down here, yes. Long journey back to Pierce's house. It's a long, cold journey. Uh, here we are. Doctor, stay up a lot. I am a doctor, stay up a lot. I mean, that is true. That is true. He's got me right down to the hit the nail on the head once again. Delivery. Axe. I don't know what you want to do with this axe, but I'm giving it to you. Winger. What? What the hell is a winger? Oh. Ho, ho. I did write this. I, you know what, Pierce? I think I'd like to pierce you with my dingus. From Pete. I wish I could have said love, Pete, but you know, can't do it. No big deal. I just want to. I just want to thank. He wanted to thank me for it. Mail makes you want to go. Oh yeah, winger. That's great. Makes you want to show them off. Oh, oh, you're gonna show this off to all your friends. Everybody you know is gonna see this letter. And when you move. To another town, they can see it in that town too. That's great. That was one of the things this game did. You could travel between towns with your friend, if you had a friend with the game and they had a memory card, you just put that in the B slot of the GameCube and you could just take the train right there and travel to their town. So that was pretty intuitive for its time, which was like 2001, 2002. It's pretty cool. Oh, was a, oh I had no, nothing to knock this down with. Uh, it's a flying gift, I want it, I want it. Oh well. But anyway, my point about going between towns, and if you actually did send a letter to someone like that, like, I don't know if you'd say you want to pierce them with your dingus. I mean, that was personal on me. But, you could, they would actually show people in other town. They might bring it up to you. It could be embarrassing, you know. But hey, it's all part of the game. Ah, uh, nice work. Very good. Enjoy your injuries. Solid 230. Uh, nice job with me. What? Bulletin board. When you're writing an ad for your shop, I will do no such thing. Oh, I'm going to embarrass you all that I want. Let's get out of here. Another feature that uh, was in Animal Crossing was that right in the center of the houses, they do have a bulletin board, which is pretty cool because you can just leave messages there. I guess if someone was to travel to your town, they could see it. And between Josh and Ken and I, and potentially Tag if he's ever played again, we can leave notes on there. So it's pretty cool. Oh, and this is the first note by Tag. Lumios, home of the tag team. And Ken says he's not so grump. A parallel to the Game Grumps, I see. I will write a new one. Tom Nook smells dot 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 space all caps. Good! You know what? You gotta stand up for a man, Tom Nook. If someone's gonna leave and you know, something that he, said, that he smells, I'm gonna say he smells good. And this is also drawing a parallel to the SpongeBob episode, where SpongeBob fills in the grease left on a dumpster that said Squidward smells, and he said he smells good. So I will do the same. At night. Squidward smells good at night. All right. I think that was my last chore. I did, oh, that was, it'll be buzz generating, I'll tell you what. All the animals in town are going to shop here because of that. They want to smell your good smell. Yay, I'm done, woo -hoo. Are you going to let me go? No, I'll go into the real world, no. So I still have 17,400 left to pay off. That's going to take some time. And I only earned, like, just over a thousand working for him. Uh, yep, 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 yep. Cash flow, all that stuff. Flow charts. 
flow from progressive. So basically what happens in this game, when you do pay off the house the first time, it gets larger. And you get another debt. You pay that off, it gets even bigger. Pay it off, it gets even bigger. I think that's the last one there. But with each time, you get the option to repaint the roof. And eventually once uh, Tom Nook's shop gets larger as well, he can sell the paint in there. So you can control the color of the roof. Right now it's red, I kind of like it. But one day I might want to make it black or white. Or brown or green the choice is mine that has been it for my version my character my Pete this has been my house this has been my Tom Nook chores spree and that has been all everybody out there you have a good day you have a good night and I'm signing off <laughs>